Greetings viewers and welcome to today's video. In today's video we'll be looking at the Icon Harbor Freight tools again. Today we're going to be looking at the metric deep and shallow quarter inch drive socket set and the 92 quarter inch drive standard length handled ratchet. We're going to be doing the unboxing, looking at the sockets, looking at the ratchet. We'll also be comparing it to the comparable snap-on sockets and snap-on ratchet. Later on, we'll be doing long-term test reviews, uh, long-term test results from uh, durability and how these sockets perform as well as the ratchet. Also do some head-to-heads between the Snap-on and the Icon. So with that said, let's go ahead and get these sockets opened. As with all of the Icon product that's been out so far, they are heavily uh, fortified against uh, theft compared to the normal Pittsburgh uh, tools. So we've got these two screws to remove and a plastic cover to get off to get to our socket sets. All right, so this is the Icon Professional Standard Socket Set and Deep Socket Set Metric, both 11-piece sets, both quarter-inch drive, starting at 5 mil and going to 14 mil, including a 5.5 mil. So let's remove our plastic covers. I don't think I got that screw all the way out. There we go. And we can remove our socket sets. So as I said in the other video on the 3.8 sockets, they come in these nice blow molded, form, blow molded plastic trays, very reminiscent of the snap-on old school trays before they went to the stand-up magnetic trays. So let's go ahead and get this quarter inch ratchet open as well. So it looks like we've got a little microfiber cleaning cloth maybe with the ratchet. Comes in this blow molded case. Very nice packaging, but uh, packaging doesn't fix cars, so set this to the side. We've got our ratchet and our quarter inch sockets. Part number for this ratchet is an R1ST. Let's look at some of the specifications on it. This is a quarter inch drive 92 stubby low profile professional ratchet. Precision machine gear, uh, tight four degree arc swing, polished chrome finish, ergonomic handle design, Stubby length for easy access to tight work areas. So just a little bit of the bullet points on the back of the box. So now that we've got the set all in box, let's take a closer look at these sockets. If you watch the 3.8 socket video, we did find a defect, a pretty large defect in the chrome on the 19 millimeter socket. So I'm just gonna go through really quickly, check all of these, see if I see any defects from the factory on them. So 
So not seeing any defects on any of these sockets. They, as the 3 8s do appear to be very reminiscent of the snap-on design in both size, the font of the icon, the part number, the knurling around the top. We will get the snap-on sockets up here and get them side by side to make a comparison, see how they stack up. We'll also get a snap-on T72 quarter inch ratchet up here to compare as that is the uh, ratchet that Harbor Freight says is the uh, direct competitor to this R1 ST ratchet. All right, so the snap-on set has a little bit of an advantage over the Icon as it's a 12-piece set compared to an 11-piece set. This set goes from 5 to 15. Icon stops at 14. Let's get a quick size comparison for the shallow versus the shallow and the deep versus the deep. We'll use the 14. Side by side, as we see the snap-on shallow socket is just a hair shorter than the icon socket. Again, very similar with the knurling cylinder part number. Just like with the 3.8 socket, similar in their brooch depth, size, uh, their own kind of little uh, flank drive here in the machining of their socket, and uh, pretty comparable between the two. That said, we'll grab the 14 deep out of each set and take a look at them. Now with the deep, they're nearly identical in height, whereas the snap-on was a little shorter when it came to the shallow sockets. Other than that, the dimensions are pretty much the same between both of them, just as they were with the 3 8 We'll take a look real quick to see if there's any difference in the depth of the broaching or the size of the Fluting inside. I believe I saw something in the eight millimeter. Yep, there's a little bit of difference here in the eight millimeters. Looks like just with the naked eye that the icon is a little smaller inside than the snap-on. But again, nothing scientific there, it's just eyeballing it. Big difference we see when we compare the five millimeters in both sets. Not sure if this will show as it's a little dark. Let's see if I can catch the light just right. There's the difference between the icon five millimeter and the snap on five millimeter. The icon is far more choked down through its center. So if you had a stud poking up on a five mil socket, you probably would come into with some clearance issues with the icon compared to the snap-on socket. That's nearly the exact size of the five mil all the way through to the end, whereas the icon is really choked down in the center. I'm gonna look through the sockets and see if I see any more instances of this. Look at the common sizes, the 10. There's a little more choked down on the icon, not by a lot. 12, 14, just a hair. So it looks like the, the um, snap ons have the advantage there where they can pass a larger stud basically through them if uh, you have a nut with a stud on it. Looking at the shallows, 
I'm not seeing a big difference with the shallows. The shallows are actually broached all the way through well, on the 10. 10 mil and above, that's basically broached all the way through to the square drive. And then the smaller sizes, it's a little bit different story. But they are broached deeper than the snap-ons with the hex. So here's the 8 mil snap-on and icon. And as you see, the icon is shouldered much deeper than the snap-on. The snap-on is fairly shallow. And snap-on does this for good reason. If you've ever had to start a nut on a stud uh, fighting against gravity, and the stud is kind of small, you can't get your fingers in there to start it. With the snap-on, they're designed to have the shoulder on them shallow so you can drop your nut into the socket and then you still have the nut nearly flush to the end where you can thread it onto the stud much easier. Whereas like the icon here, your nut would be down deeper in the socket and you might not be able to clear to start the nut on the stud if it's a short stud. So that's why snap on shoulders there, sockets shallow in the deep and the shallows. But yeah, the Icon shallows are a slight bit taller in overall height than the snap-on version. The Icons are taller than the snap-on version of the shallow. So now that we've looked at the sockets, let's take a more in-depth look at these two quarter-inch ratchets. So checking out the ratchets, we have the T72 snap-on versus the R1ST Icon. The Icon is slightly longer than the T72. The T72 is a 72 tooth ratchet, whereas the Icon is a 90 tooth ratchet. Our reversing levers are very similar in their shape. The Icon one is a lot bigger. It also sits a lot taller off of the head of the ratchet. So if we look at the snap-on, it's very uh, low profile to the head compared to the icon that's pretty bulbous and uh, protrudes above the surface. As far as their actual thickness, they're about the same with the naked eye. The drive is about the same. The body is about the same, but the selector switch sits much higher on the icon compared to the snap-on. Both have a steel front plate. Both are secured with two screws. Very similar in that regard. The handle is much thicker on the Icon compared to the T72, which is a little more comfortable in the hand. Gives you a little bit more to grip onto. And it's also a little bit longer, so it kind of follows the length of your hand, whereas the T72 kind of stops a little short. So we're going to take a little bit deeper look at these two ratchets. We're actually going to take the face plates off and take a look at the 90 tooth mechanism compared to the 72 tooth mechanism with the dual paws and the snap-on. All right, so here we have the dual dual paw 72 tooth snap-on quarter inch ratchet apart and the 90 tooth single paw Harbor Freight Icon ratchet. Take a quick look at the front cover plate of each ratchet. Both of the cover plates are nearly identical in thickness. The snap-on has a recessed place for a rubber gasket to go. The Icon does not. The Icon does not have a gasket on the front like the snap-on does. It just has a circular spring. This is the circular spring. That's in the Icon ratchet. Compared to the rubber gasket, 
rubber or silicone, I'm not exactly sure which. That's in the front plate of the T72 Snap-on. This keeps grease in the ratchet and dirt out of the mechanism. The T72 has the Snap-on's patented dual paw technology where you have one paw for each forward and reverse gear with a spring in between to isolate the two paws from each other. The Icon has a single paw that pivots back and forth on a rocker to change direction forward and backwards. The advantage of having the dual paw mechanism, if you've ever been ratcheting uh, fairly quickly with a older ratchet that may be a little worn and you were loosening a bolt or tightening a bolt and then all of a sudden figured out that you were going the opposite direction uh, with a single paw when they get a little loose, a little wear in them, they can jump on you and change direction because the hammering of the um, ratchet mechanism, the paw back and forth as you're going through the swing with the ratchet can actually cause it to push past the spring tension and change direction. With the snap-on that won't happen because all that hammering of the paw in and out as you ratchet is transferred into the spring and isolated from the other paw where it won't flip direction where you won't uh, auto reverse uh, without you wanting to. So with the snap-on dual paw technology uh, another benefit of it is the way that the housing is actually made and the way the paws are made, they're designed like a wedge. So when you go to apply force to the drive, as you turn, the paw is pushed into the wedge and against the drive and you have full contact the entire length of the paw with the teeth of the ratchet drive mechanism and then it wedges up into the housing and gives you that really strong, secure hold for breaking loose stubborn fasteners. Now with the Icon, normally on a single paw ratchet, the ratchet, the paw just uh, pivots one way or the other and you only have a small surface area of the paw actually in contact with the ratchet. So with higher toothed ratchets, you actually are not always getting a stronger ratchet you're not always having as much contact with the drive. But this unit, when you reverse, uh, when you switch from forward to reverse, is actually sliding the paw rather than pivoting it. Also, the shape of the paw is wedge shape as well to match the housing similarly to how the dual 80 or dual 72 in this case with the T72 ratchet acts as a wedge when you apply force to the drive where it will apply a wedging motion to wedge more of that paw into place and hold that drive steel for breaking loose stubborn fasteners. Now I don't have a microscope and I don't have a way to measure to see which of the two ratchets puts more uh, surface area in contact with the drive to wedge in for whichever direction. Uh, it's extremely close between the paw and the drive here. So I can't exactly tell where contact starts other than the end and where it actually ends. Looks like the snap-on might have a slightly more surface contact with the drive, but that's basically speculation. I can't tell. I uh, have no way to measure it to know accurately. But uh, real quickly. Here's the mechanism. Changing direction on the icon. Compare that to the snap-on.
so now that I've got both of these ratchets back together as before with the 3.8 sockets we are going to be retiring the Snap-on T72, my most used favorite ratchet and we will be replacing it with the R1ST Icon quarter inch ratchet and this will be my new ratchet to use every day to see how it's going to hold up for long term testing. So as before with the 3 8 drive sockets, I will be switching out my snap-ons for icons to do a long-term durability test. So we will be taking all of the snap-ons off the tray. And replacing them with all icon sockets. And we have an issue already. The icon sockets will not fit on the Harbor Freight socket tray. Hold that thought. All right, so I've switched to the new Harbor Freight socket tray and crisis averted. So I can keep my snap on sockets on the current tray they were on. And we can put the Harbor Freights up. Oh, oh, the five is too small to go on the five, and it fits on the 4.5. Looks like that uh, narrow inside will cause some issues with these quarter inch icon sockets on fitment on very small fasteners. Now the five shallow fits, whereas the five, oh, there it goes. Had to tap it, perfect. So we'll be using these icon sockets over the next coming weeks instead of my snap-on for durability and long-term testing. With that said, I'll go ahead and end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.